Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Misty at Skeeter Jones and in this video I'll be showing my first ever thread up fabric DIY rescue box unboxing. That's a mouthful. I am no stranger to thread up rescue box unboxings as you may know if you've been watching my channel but I've never gotten this particular box because I assumed that it was just a box of random scraps of cloth because of the name of the box but I was invited by this great group of creators to join their collab today. And the topic of this one, of course, is the Fabric DIY Rescue Box. So I ordered my first one and I was very, very surprised by the things that I found in it. So without further ado, let's dive right in and I will tell you about the giveaway at the end of the video. So first up, I was very, very surprised by this one. This is a Worth vintage silk blouse made in Hong Kong, size six. I hope that's focusing well. It has great details on it. This high neck with the uh, bands around the, the stitching and the same type of stitching around the cuffs. There are no flaws on it at all. And it's got these beautiful details like this covered placket. What that means is that there's this flap right here that covers the buttonholes. And this is the back actually. It buttons down the back and it is solid on the front. And it's this golden yellow color with these multicolored spots on it. I'm going to try this on the mannequin so you can see what it looks like. I apologize for the jumpy cut. I just didn't want you to have to watch me struggle this onto the mannequin. So here it is. Let's turn the camera down a little so you can see it. It's, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. I did not button it all the way up the back, but this is what it would look like. This is what it would look like buttoned. You just would not see the buttons because of the open plank or the covered placket that covers the buttons. That is the back. Here is the front. It originally had shoulder pads that would attach here on this little strap to these snaps. Those are not in the box with it, but honestly, I think it doesn't need them. And it's a beautiful, beautiful blouse. Next, Everything in this box surprised me really for, for different reasons, mostly because none of it has any flaws at all. None of it is what I would call scrap fabric. This is a 60s style, sort of a Jackie Kennedy. It sort of gives me that, that impression. It's organza or chiffon polyester with this bow on the front, bow detail, keyhole back with the button. It's beautiful. It's a brand I wouldn't normally pick up, which is Forever 21. There it is there. Now all of the pieces, the prices that I'm listing on the screen will be good for a couple of weeks. Then after that, I will list these items on eBay and they will be listed on eBay at a higher price than what they are on the video. And once they're on eBay, they won't be available through the video anymore at that time. eBay doesn't really like it when you list things and then take them down to sell them off the platform. If you're old enough to remember the Partridge family, uh, if you know, you know. This is maybe the craziest piece in the whole box. It's a long duster. I held it up to me earlier. It's, I'm 5'10", and it comes just below my knees, about mid-calf. The size is 4XL, but it has these two sets of buttons here and here, which looks like it should be double-breasted, but there's only one set of button holes. So I think it's just to adjust the size a little bit. It has patch pockets with flaps on the front. And this is 
interesting to say the very least. There's no brand on this. There is a size of uh, 4XL, but there is no brand. It feels like just a thick, it's sort of heavier than it looks. It's sort of a thick polyester knit is what it feels like. Notch lapels, and there's no stains and snags or anything like that in the Partridge family coat. The next piece is another beautiful silk blouse. There was a good bit of silk in this box. This one, look at that, it reminds me of the 90s Lux. This pattern with these different, like there's a Turkish coffee carafe, a little bowl, different little bowls and steins and things all over it. The background is this gold or tan and black checkerboard pattern with these little purple diamond shapes in between. It has buttons that are covered in the same fabric as the blouse. The brand is the Creative Barn, which I have never ever heard of. So if you're interested in anything, just let me know in the comments and I'll be glad to give you measurements for whatever it is. That's the best way to ensure a good fit because you know, small, medium, and large is very subjective. So here is the Creative Barn silk blouse. This could be a pajama top. I really don't know. But it could be worn as a regular blouse, I believe, very easily. It can also, it has this button loop here. And there's a button underneath the collar on this side. So it can be worn this way. Or with the open lapel. Very surprised, again, for various reasons with the different items in this, in this box. This is, well, I can't put this on the mannequin. This is a jumpsuit. It has faux fur around the top. I would really think this would be a Halloween costume. It's by Sheen, Shine, Shane. I don't know how that's pronounced, but it has this wide neckline with the faux fur at the top. Then these sheer sleeves with this fuzzy material on it. I really don't know what you would call that. Maybe chenille. And the size on this, size large, it's a jumpsuit of this twill woven type fabric with this overskirt of the same fuzzy chenille material. But there's that. I cannot uh, put it on the mannequin because of it being a jumpsuit. Next, just a simple chiffon dress. It's completely lined in this orangey red color. An empire waist and a keyhole back. It has these little ties at the sleeves with the little keyholes at the sleeves also. I'll see if I can get it quickly onto the mannequin. Look at that. If you need a dress quick, this is the dress for you. But here it is, a nice little flattering fit. It's pretty long. The keyhole back and the elastic waist. A nice little summer dress. This is certainly something you wouldn't expect to see in a box called a Fabric Rescue, but this is a Lily Pulitzer cocktail dress in perfect condition. It still, to me, feels like it has the fabric finish on it, like it, it's never been washed or cleaned. Of course, I don't know that and there's no tags on it, but from judging from the underarms and everything, it doesn't look like it's ever been worn. But this is it, it's got this plunge neckline with this gold and silver piping 
making a design that follows completely around to the back and the design itself becomes the straps over the top of the dress. It's 100% cotton and it is lined, fully lined also with 100% cotton. And that is really pretty. It is small. It is very small. So uh, again, just ask for the measurements if you're interested in that. Next, White House Black Market. This is a chiffon blouse. Peasant style with elastic in the neckline and elastic also at the wrists. This gold and silver or gold and white embroidery. And it's not a raw edge, but it is this little detailed pink edge right there on the neckline and on the sleeves. The embroidery also is repeated right here at the top of the sleeves. That is a size medium. It's a really good size to get pieces in here that are large and medium. The smaller sizes tend to sit, but smaller people need clothes too. Larger sizes do tend to sell faster though. That's why if you're not familiar with why resellers get the sizes they get or why they comment, oh, this is a great size, it's a 2XL. The reason uh, they call those great sizes is because those are really the faster movers, the bigger sizes. This is, it has a little, a little bit of sign of wear on it. This will be washed. Right here it's got a little bit of deodorant on that, but that will be cleaned. It's a Calvin Klein evening gown, or well, not evening gown, but like a cocktail dress or just a nice dress. It's this flowy like spandex material with this metal detail. Let's pull it back off. Right here, the metal detail on the sleeve, or on the strap, that's not a sleeve. It is a Calvin Klein size 10 and it zips up the back with a hidden zipper. It's got beautiful drape and flow to it. It just swishes and swings sort of uh, body conscious toward the top and then just flows down to the floor. Another silk blouse. This one is a brand I also do not recognize. I've never seen that before. So it's a boho brand, obviously, or at least this design. It may not be a boho brand overall, but this design clearly is. So it's kimono style at the top. It has these bell sleeves. And it would cross like this in the front and you can tie it around the back or bring it back around the front maybe and tie it in a small knot or tie it in the back and have it hang down like that but very boho very just pretty and flowy and very seasonal right now it's this peachy, blushy pink. Let's see if I can adjust that. So it's a peachy, blushy pink with red and teal or turquoise, sort of floral paisley design. Another brand I don't go out looking for is H&M, which is what this is here. But I probably actually would pick this up if I saw it in a thrift store and the price was right. Just because of the style and it's so nicely, nicely put together. It's well made. This blazer with three quarter sleeves. The design on the front repeats on the sleeves. 
and it's only on the front. It does not continue to the back, but it's a cotton twill type of fabric, and it's fully lined. It has embroidery in this rich green color, these gold beads, and then gold and white embroidery as well. And you wouldn't expect that to be H&M because it's it's got a nice weight to it and it's very well constructed. Here's a close-up look of that design. That is just a very pretty piece. Next, I have a pair of Costco king-size pillow shams. The design is the sagey green and gray on an ivory or cream colored background and then this plain color on the back if no one buys these i will probably just use them for packing material because i use vintage linens for that purpose if you buy anything off of today's video and you want it packed in these let me know and i will be glad to do that Did I say those were king size? They're king size. This is the, the big shocker of the whole box. This is a new to me brand. It's a designer. I don't know how well known this designer is. I, I don't know who it is. It's Terrence Williams Designs. This is actually a current style on his website. As soon as I find the tag, I will hold it up to the screen for you. But it's this organza material, just sheer, with these beautiful, rich jewel tones with florals and butterflies. It's just stunningly beautiful. And on camera, it's probably not anywhere close to as stunning as it looks in person. But there is... The designer. You can look up his website. This is a current item on his website that retails for $250. This one doesn't really have any signs of wear, but it also doesn't have any tags on it. So uh, I, I won't assume that it's new. And there is that. And there's a picture of it being worn um, by a model on the website. So you can see what it looks like on someone if you go look it up. The only flaw I could find is this one thread here. And I will take a needle and pull that back through and tie it off so that it won't come loose any further. But that is the only flaw I could find on this whole beautiful piece. It's very long up on my shoulders, it comes down to the top of my feet. This is the most beautiful piece in the whole box. Another crazy piece. Well, not really crazy. It's just sort of silky pajama pants. There's no size tag and there is no fabric content tag on these. This is a real drawstring. You know, sometimes these are just decorative, but this is a real working drawstring. It looks like these probably would fit about a medium. There are pockets with the edging here that matches the tie. And there's edging on the leg that also matches the tie. Just these silky, probably polyester, rainbow cheetah spots. Pajama pants. Now keeping with the cheetah theme and the pajama theme, here is probably a, t a sleep shirt with cheetahs all over. It's a blush pink with this floral design. And look at these cheetahs. It's the same guy all over the whole shirt. And he's got these crazy eyes. I just thought <laughs> that is one of the funniest things I've seen in this box, certainly. 
sorry again for the jumpy edit, but you really didn't want to watch me struggle getting this shirt onto this mannequin. The mannequin is this velvety, has the velvety covering and this is cotton and so it was just sticking as I was trying to pull it down and it, it wasn't pretty. So this is what it looks like on. It is a long sleeve shirt. So I don't think that, I don't think it had pants that went with it. I think it's just the sleep shirt and that is the pajamas. On me, it comes just above my knees. So I really think pants probably never came with this. The brand, I don't think I've shown. Print Fresh is the brand. And I don't see a size on it unless it's in the side seam. And I don't see that either. This is cotton. There's no way this is not cotton. But I will give you again the measurements if you're interested in this and just request that in the comments. We're down to the last two pieces and in my opinion the least exciting items in the whole box is a Colors of India little sundress. It says free size. I really don't know what free size means unless it's a one size fits most. That's probably what it is. It's just got this little contrast color here and a little bit more at the top with this embroidery all over and this elastic in the back which is made to sort of simulate smocking. I wear a medium and it looks like it would fit me just right. The only thing is these little rings are very lightweight and they feel very flimsy. I would not trust this out in public. So uh, if, if someone is interested in this dress, I will replace this with something metal or I will just remove it and stitch the strap together. I won't do it until someone uh, buys it and lets me know that you would like me to do that though. But the Colors of India sundress. It feels like a, it feels like rayon, as does this last piece, which is vintage, I'm certain. This is plus factor for full figures. And it feels like a rayon as well. It also is probably vintage just because you don't see phrases like the full figure and stuff like that really today very much. So I think this is going to be a vintage piece. And you can tell here, actually it is vintage. You can tell here where the shoulder pads were cut out. I really wasn't a fan of shoulder pads when they were popular in the 80s, so that's what I did, is I would cut them out. But this is sort of a brownish green olive drab color, just basic layering piece with a little pocket right here, a little chest pocket on the front, just a pullover. It layers, but I don't think it's long enough to tuck in. But that is it. That is the first fabric DIY rescue box from ThreadUp that I have ever done. And I believe I'm going to get some more of those because I was so surprised by the quality and the condition of the items that came out of this box and the brands too. So about the giveaway, I am going to curate a five piece box, sort of like a ThreadUp fun box, but it won't have any socks in it. <laughs> and uh, at least one item in the box will have an eBay sold comps of at least $30. And to enter for that drawing, just watch all 13 videos, and you can find the links to all of those in the description of this video. Watch all 13, give everyone a thumbs up, give everyone a comment, give everyone a share, and subscribe to everyone that you're not already subscribed to. And then one week from today, I will use a random comment picker to choose the winner for my drawing. And then I will 
get in touch and I will get your prize out to you. Some of the other creators in this collab are also doing giveaways. Not everyone, but some of them are. And when you're watching their videos, you'll see what you can do to enter for their giveaways as well. So thank you for joining me for my first collab, my first Thread Up DIY fabric rescue box. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.